Alex Liao is an associate professor in psychiatry and bioengineering and also an attending physician at the University of Illinois Hospital with a PhD in applied mathematics and is a board certified psychiatrist. Dr. Liao co-founded and currently co-directs the Connect Research Team at UIC where they study the human brain using interdisciplinary approaches of multi-model brain imaging, non-invasive brain stimulation, big data analytics, virtual reality, and mobile technology. Dr. Liao also helped conceive and co-lead the BioEffect study, which was recently awarded the grand prize out of 75 teams in the Robert Wood Johnson funded Mood Challenge competition. Several years ago, I was meeting Alex for the first time at a restaurant for lunch, and before leaving my office, I Googled Alex Liao so I'd be able to recognize her. The first picture that came up was Alex playing the piano in the 2011 Van Cliburn competition. And when I brought this up over lunch, Alex was quick to mention, Pete, it was only the amateur division. <laughs> so even given her many amazing talents, Alex is a humble person, which is a very nice quality and a leader and collaborator. Please welcome Alex Liao. I'm Alex, and it is really a great honor to be here. As a faculty member in psychiatry and bioengineering, I am fortunate to be working in two amazing scientific fields, and they are medicine and engineering. Growing up in a typical Asian family, I've always been told to become a doctor. But the truth is, I wanted to be a mathematician or a pianist. Now that I'm a psychiatrist and an applied mathematician, I still dream about being a concert pianist once in a while. My career journey as a trainee has been long, and the delayed gratification has been hard. But I'm so fortunate to do what I do. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to tell you what we do at the Connect Lab. The human brain is the most complex organ and the least understood of the human body. As an applied mathematician, I've devoted my career to computational brain imaging. Clinically, I've also developed a strong interest in treating people with bipolar disorder. According to the World Health Organization, bipolar disorder affects about 60 million people worldwide. In the US, there's a lifetime prevalence of almost 4% for bipolar disorder. In fact, bipolar disorder has been deemed the most expensive psychiatric diagnosis, costing more than twice as much as major depression per patient, with an average of $568 in annual out-of-pocket expenses. In recent years, we've seen more public awareness and willingness to discuss bipolar disorder. Several public figures have come forward with their own bipolar diagnosis, including Demi Lovato and former Congressman Mr. Patrick Kennedy. For more than 10 years, my research was primarily brain imaging. We are now at a point where big data analytics can be used to simultaneously study the interconnectivity between tens of thousands of brain regions. This exciting field is called connectomics. At UIC, our network of interdisciplinary researchers in multiple departments have established a strong track record of cutting edge connectomics research. In fact, we are the first to study and to publish connectomics research in bipolar disorder, demonstrating that subtle changes in the brain may explain the impulsivity that we commonly observe in mania. Moreover, we've been working with UIC's Electronic Visualization Lab, or EVL, to develop immersive virtual reality technology. And this technology will allow scientists to better explore and interact with connectomics data. 
However, I believe that the future of psychiatry is to harness the power of mobile technology. To the best of my knowledge, our UIC team is the first to study mood and cognition in bipolar disorder using smartphones. With Dean Pete Nelson's permission, I'd like to share with you a story. When I first joined the university in 2014, Pete invited me over for lunch. And he said to me that a close family member of his has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. As a result, he's been working on an app that would help people manage their own symptoms better. Over the next few months, the Biafic project was born with an overarching goal of turning smartphones into fitness trackers for the brain. How are we going to do this? Our solution is a technology that learns a person's neuropsychological function using passively collected typing dynamics. That is to say, not what you type, but how you type it. The core technology of Biaffect is a custom-built keyboard that replaces the standard keyboard and tracks keystroke dynamics in the background. Then, we perform mathematical analyses to essentially conduct neuropsychological testing without actually having to test. In 2017, Biaffect was named the first prize of the Mood Challenge for Research Kit. In addition, we've completed a pilot study that demonstrated the scientific foundation and the technical feasibility. With Professor Philip Yu in computer science, our team used state-of-the-art deep learning to demonstrate that passively collected typing dynamics can predict symptom severity of a person's depression and mania. However, we want to do more than just analyzing data. We want to empower the participants of our study by providing meaningful and actionable feedback so that the users can learn more about their own brains. I hope this is only the start of our exciting project. We hope to have the app available for download in the App Store by mid-2018. While I'm the person standing here presenting this work, the real heroes are the amazing research team members at UIC. And with that, I'm concluding my presentation. Thank you.